Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Today's chat Yamaha XT125. So specs come up in a minute, but on my channel, I've done the Shinrei, the Sinus, Lex Moto 125s, all of the same style of these. Bye bye. It's all the same style looking bike, trail trial looking bike. This little baby here, I mean they are all the same sort of thing as well. Now there's two sort of specs at present minute you're getting for this. 12.4 brake horsepower or 10 brake horsepower. Hmm. Just under two gallon tank, just over two gallon tanks. The specs are a little bit hard. I'm guessing they upgraded the model from 05 to 08 to this model and it became a WR I think as well. So this is a very late XT125R. Nice little bikes. Now, being this make Yamaha, you're guaranteed you're not gonna get your usual complaints that you get with the other little bunch I just said. So the chain's not gonna stretch every 500 miles, if not sooner. Your speedo will keep working, because the speedo drive won't flare out, and your back light will keep working as well. The main things that go wrong. This one sat in the garden since April last year, so we're talking 17, 18 months now and that was when it was last MOT'd, it went nowhere. So what are you gonna do when you've had a bike that sat outside for 18 months? Now fuel, <laughs> if it's in a garage <clears throat> and it's a big bike and you leave it in there for a while, it's not gonna cause that many problems. I'd still drain it out. When these little plastic tanks left outside in the extreme summer we had last year and again the summer we had this year, the petrol's stale, it goes funny, drain it out. So the first thing you need to do is drain the petrol out and out of the carb. Next, WD-40. The locks need doing, the stand needs doing, all the switches and everything else need spraying in here and there as well. Um, battery, seat, off, out. Take the battery off. Now, amazingly, this battery here is actually quite good. So I drop tested it, coming at the right volts, I've got it on charge. But I love the fact that this has got Good old kick start as well. Such a wonderful backup to have. But the battery was good. LCD display on here and not clocks. So if a speedo goes, it's gonna be the drive or electric bits, but it works fine on here. This little baby's only got 9,000 miles on the clock. For a lemon plate, that's amazing. Plug out, if it's old, change it. This one's new, just clean it up, pop it back in. Drain the fuel out of the carburetor. I'm gonna put new fuel in here because I've completely drained it out of here. Um, and then drain a bit more out. It's a little vacuum system, so you have to suck it through to prime it, or you can just turn it over, it will start quite quickly anyway. Now something I always check as well is the oil. And this was a bit worrying. Um, I had started it, hadn't rode it, but I had started it. So I thought I had the clutch and spraying things up, and the stand, as I said, was really quite solid. Loads of WD, just keep back and forth, back and forth. Same as the chain, I'm gonna oil that up as well. I've checked the spokes, it's needing MOT. The oil, and I'm gonna have to show you this. Nice and simple down here, you've got a little stick. Okay, no viewing. But <laughs> when I've checked the oil, I pulled it out and I thought, oh, it's all shiny. I've looked in there and I can physically see the oil to the top. <laughs> now, you know it's not 2T, doesn't need oil to burn with the fuel, but someone has put the oil right to the top of this bike and that would cause major major problems i've said this so many times in my videos putting too much in is just as bad as not enough too much pressure on the engine and you'll blow your engine so oil is going to come out of this bike and the right amount of oil is going to go in there it does start so i'm under the impression it hasn't caused too much damage if none but i will check when i've got the right amount of oil when i go for a nice ride on this bike especially when i go and mot it again and there's general wear and tear. If this had been a cheaper Chinese version, I would honestly say that being out here in this weather, in the rain, the sun we had, they pretty much rusted really badly. Sports exhaust, as you can see, which is quite a nice sound to it, very deep sound to it, but the middle knuckle where the shock goes, the front shocks and that lot, they were just rusted really badly. And these have rusted, but wire, brush on these, and a paint over will make them look a million dollars again. It's got a cracked front bit here. Looking around the bike, you can see, yeah, that just needs spraying up. Spokes are all good, I have washed it. I'm not sure what happened here, whether we looked for where the bolts were or whether we just pushed it into a hedge, I just don't know. 
and it's little tacky things like getting that wire put back where it should be it's an earth wire it needs to be there and this is what I'm saying about the oil I can physically see it there it's all the way up that's mental it's got to come out the spark plug was new I just took that out and cleaned it but even so you can see the rust started and if you look in there I'm going to clean it up re-clean it up should I say because it's worse than that and I'm going to paint that back over along with all the little bits of rust you see let's get them sorted now even the belly pan needs to come off and be sprayed up the exhaust you expect a little bit of wear and rusting I've uh, cleaned up a lot better than it was and I said this has got an LCD display dash all works this here is the mode button and you could press this all day long it wouldn't do very much so WD-40 with the little straw goes in spray it all up spray these up as well they are all working now which is a result same as I sprayed these up as well because if you try and push it you could snap the key so spray them up before you start messing around there's your old vacuum in there and the carburetor so I drained out the fuel out of here got to suck all that back through and I'm going to spray this spring up here which is the clutch so when you do pull it in and out it does a little bit freer and better than that gearbox was fine I'm going to clean this all up as well and I said the stand they're quite big so they do rust so I've sprayed that up and make sure the switch is working otherwise you just won't be able to start it and get in gear without it turning off all the time and stalling because this sensor here and the chain is not too bad it's actually quite good tyres on these are okay they'll pass an MOT indicator here I had to put a bit of tape here the only way of changing the bulbs is by pulling them off and they don't seem to go back on very well a little bit tacky but that's all it needed was a bulb change so I did it I said a sports exhaust on here and from the front it really does look like any other version style of these bikes as well it doesn't say Yamaha anywhere but you know you've got a quality engine and a bike that will last longer so up shop same tank size same CC engine same brake horsepower same size same look up and down size Yamaha brilliant engine much better build quality downside you're gonna pay a lot more money for them and that's a fact 500 pound for the same sort of year in the cheaper makes Sinus and Lex Moto and you can pay a thousand pound for one that's in good condition with such low miles so depending on your budget depending on what you end up doing isn't it anyway I am going to finish cleaning this up now um, I just wanted to show you what you must do don't expect to jump on a bike that you've just had you know sitting in the garden for 18 months and expect to ride it away you know or if you buy a bike you must go over these bikes when you buy them um, if someone had just put some fresh petrol in here and rode the old petrol through leaving the oil like it is this engine would have blown up straight up would have blown up within 50 miles or so and you'd be thinking what's gone wrong with it just because someone overfilled the oil got to be looked at we've had a quick look around it now it's going to go into my famous shed and then we're going to get it all sorted and another MOT failure someone put these nice grips on that is an MOT failure it twists it goes on here and you can do this with it it's dangerous and here in the UK they'll fail the MOT so you'd have thought your bike would have passed and it would fail on something silly and it's such an easy fix tape underneath it, whack it back on, make sure it's sealed, or you can glue them on, one or the other. But it has to be not moving, okay? Same as all the levers, um, and the rear pegs have to be able to move open and shut. Um, if I see excessive rust, they'll moan about that as well. Brakes, obviously I'm gonna take it for a ride, and then on, off, on, off. If they're seized, you've got to free them up, take them off, clean them all up, and put it back on again. Because this was left outside, they actually stayed quite clean. A simple cover would have stopped half of the rust, but it didn't happen. So in a minute, you're gonna see a transformation. Oh, a little bit of TLC, one nice looking bike. Now, when I showed you earlier how much oil it had in it, you know, I'm about to see a Korma, 460 gram jar, full of excess oil. And this only takes a litre, so let's call that half a litre. That's how much extra oil this bike had in it. Not good, and could have really damaged this bike. However, it didn't. Now I did find about a million spiders on this, no longer. 
it's all sorted fresh fuel in here a little bit of adjustment on the idle and air mix remember she's been sitting well clean the plug front now not cracked anymore let's have a quick look around it before i start nice and clean couldn't do a lot with the crack but i've bonded it from behind and there's a little crack here nice aim on it now front wheel all cleaned engine i could have sprayed it all but you know what that paint doesn't really last that long so i've left the engine as it is it's got a really nice deep grunty sound with this exhaust on there brakes are good tires are okay indicator sorted but i did have to put a little bit of tape around when i pulled this off when i put it back on i didn't like the fact it's the only little tackiness i don't like but hey as you come up to the bike very very nice all round I think that's a 9 out of 10 didn't you let's just finish it off with a quick start always remember it's important to check over the bike I couldn't stress so much on chug clutch sound to them 9,700 miles on the clock loads and loads of life left in this very nice Yamaha engine kick start battery start everything works on it now when I first got the clocks good display on here the button at the front I showed you wasn't working just WD-40 leave it overnight working perfectly horn indicators everything now works this is all ready for an MOT and ready to go job done as I like to say there you go, nice easy one. They are better than your little sinuses. But you pay more. We have from the bars on this, and also this doesn't turn anymore. Again, as I said, that's an MOT failure. Masking tape, wrap it round, really squeeze it on. If it goes on easy, put the masking tape underneath. That will grip and that will stop it moving. You've got to be done. There we go, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. You take care of us on the road. Bloody hot day, I think I'm going to go for a ride on this myself. These should do 67, 70 mile an hour all day long. Let's see. So, with a lip. This is a 460 gram. Anyone like some Korma? 460 gram jar.